What's up, guys? You're watching another Izzy's Review. Today, we're going to be reviewing some ways to plant a garden, even if you live in an apartment like I'm at um, right now. So, I have some things. I'm sitting out here on my patio. This is actually my third attempt at this video. My family is being rude. They won't let me record. The dog keeps trying to bust out here and see what I'm doing and it's none of his business. So anyways, we're all at home, right? Stay, sorry, it's driving crazy. Stay in place, shelter in place. Um, so the, the grocery stores are scarce and I know for me, I'm having a hard time finding what I need. And I decided to just start this garden. Like, can you see this gorgeousness? So I've always considered myself to have a green thumb because um, my grandparents, they were on the field and um, picking vegetables and had their own garden. So um, I've always known a little bit and I I went to the field myself and I picked um, okra, um, field peas, corn, you name it, I've um, been out in the country picking um, those fruits and vegetables. So, I know a little bit. It's been a while, but I just wanted to share some tips with y'all. And ironically or not, like, I am a spiritual person and I believe in following your gut. So, before all this happened, I bought some um, potting mix. This is... I don't know how many 25 quarts and that's because I didn't get the big big bag because I had to carry it up the steps by myself and I have a bad back and I've had knee surgery I just wasn't feeling it and I got the 25 so I'm kind of bummed about that but I've been using things around the house so this has been on my porch or my patio for a while and I have this little container I got from the dollar store I was going to use a shoe box whatever it doesn't matter but um this is the soil that I had left so I just put in this little container it doesn't say how many ounces it just says rectangle box from the um the dollar store and I put some soil in it see it's maybe six inches it's filled halfway with soil because that's all that I have and I'm wearing gloves because um, I don't like to get dirt under my nails and ingest that in my eyes. The doctors aren't open right now. And I just want to be extra careful. But there are times that I do garden without um, gloves. So I'm just going to toss the soy with my hands. Just literally toss it. And I don't know if I mentioned it or not what we're doing. I'm so sorry. Um, like I said, it's the third time that I've recorded this. I'm doing some things that I have around the house um, because of the social distancing and the stores not being stopped. So I saw this online. Do y'all know what this is? Like the goddess wedge. It's called Romaine Hearts from Publix. I usually get them from Aldi, but they come three to a pack. And I call them the goddess wedge, but they're called Romaine Hearts. So it's like three to a pack. And that's one that's two this is three and i felt like this one was starting to grow in the um i found it at the bottom of the refrigerator it started to grow so i'm just going to put this in the soil like it is but this is kind of what the a baby version of the romaine heart or the goddess wedge so when i took it off the pack prepared my salad i chopped it right here and i kept this part to plant now i'm going to submerge this maybe about a half an inch until like right here in the dirt. I'm just gonna stick it right into the dirt. It pretty much balances itself. My third one, just stick it in the dirt. And I'm gonna insert photos so y'all can see. And I'm gonna stick this one in the dirt. All right, so that's three. I have room for maybe three more, but I'm later gonna do some um, carrots, or whatever else I can find so I brought some water out with me 
and I'm just going to moisten the soil just a little bit um, not drench it but just activate it now some friends of mine on Instagram they did hydro it um, for a few days and I'm going to show y'all some plants that I've done that I've been growing in the dirt so I potted these with you real life together these three romaine hearts have been potted together and show you together we did this and uh oh we're going to check them we're going to check um check on them in a few weeks but put that back in there so I've never done this before, but I'm assuming that it is one um, romaine heart per seedling that we just planted. I'm gonna take these off because they're wet and gross. All right, so this beautiful bush that you see a few weeks ago, I want to say six before quarantine, I, f I left some potatoes on my counter and they started growing little spuds and I planted those and that's what you see right here. It was about eight of them. Look how big she has gotten. Look at that. It's like a mini jungle. And in there, guess what? That is the romaine heart I planted a few weeks ago. And over there, do you see that? Where's the camera? That is onion. Right there. Do you see the onion? Those little stub looking things? I'm gonna insert some photos. So y'all can see. But as y'all can see, I'm on this tiny patio. I'm out here with my bike and an old chair that I um, haven't sat in in forever, but I think it's possible. I am excited to eat these things. I don't, I've never grown potatoes before. Everything has been me reading online and it's been around six weeks and oh my goodness. I'm gonna show you this side. Look how big. I don't know. I just stuck it in the, um, in the dirt I don't know what I'm doing but I do hope that we will have some lettuce that I can eat because I can't find any um, in the store we'll have some potatoes and we'll have some onion and soon we'll have carrots and whatever else I can plant I really would love 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 a blueberry bush I love blueberries I put them in my smoothie and they last a long time when I buy them in like the little container from Aldi so we'll see I know if you go to Home Depot or Lowe's you can buy like I call it a teenager bush where it's already been planted it's been growing for a few weeks and after being planted in the ground it will start to bear fruit in X amount of weeks or whatever but they're like trees already um, I would like that but I'm not really going to go out and purchase a lot of plants and um, crowd this space up because I don't know how long I'm going to be here but I do know that in the meantime it won't hurt to use um, the food that I'm already consuming and experiment it with that and if it grows we have food and if not um, at least I'm contributing to um, cleaning the air because what these plants take in the um, CO2 or carbon monoxide or, or is it carbon dioxide whatever we breathe out um, they breathe that and we breathe the oxygen they produce or something like that. I don't remember my science. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I thank y'all for watching. If you do plant a little mini garden in your home, let me know how it goes in the comment section. And I'm going to show you um, some of the yummy things that I make out of my garden whenever this stuff starts to grow because I don't know how long it takes. And I would Google it, but... It just gives me anxiety because I don't know what they're talking about. So, until next time, with much love, Izzy.